we've already had Malik and Corrie. And then came Dudley with the more powerful Eunice, all arriving in quick succession this year. A powerful winter jet stream is acting like a conveyor belt. It's blowing close to 200 miles per hour in the upper atmosphere, creating areas of low pressure and dragging them towards the UK, one after another. These low pressure systems bring warmer and colder air together, creating storms. Often we can get storms that develop on the um, on the on the tail, if you like, of pre-existing storms, um, and so we often get this clustering over on this side of the Atlantic, coming over the UK and, and into Northern Europe. Meteorologists have suggested Eunice may share something in common with the Great Storm of 1987, a rare event called a Stingjet, a focused area of extremely strong winds. A Stingjet is a particular. Um, short-lived, quite small scale, perhaps 50 kilometres across, jet of wind, um, and it comes down from um, the tip of the cloud where it hooks around the cyclone to the north and it heads towards the surface. Um, and if it comes down towards the surface, then it can lead to exceptionally strong winds and particularly exceptionally strong gusts. It may feel like we're hearing about storms more frequently. That could be partly because they are now named to improve public safety. Scientists are working out what role climate change plays. There's not really compelling evidence that the number of storms is increasing or that it, they will increase in the future as the climate warms. But there, there's some emerging evidence based on fine resolution computer simulations that suggest the most severe um, wind storms will become even more dangerous, partly because there's more moisture in a warmer atmosphere and the storms literally feed off this. And Eunice may not be the last storm you hear about this weekend. More winds and rain are forecast for the northwest and Scotland on Sunday. This time, though, it'll be Franklin arriving on our shores. Deborah Cohen, News at 10.